What is up guys? Welcome back to another average video. Today is going to be a review video. I have had this clam plate for my auger for a few years now. I've got a lot of use out of it and I'm here to tell you all about it and what I like and what I dislike. First things first, I want to talk about the cons of it. Um, there's a few, not a whole lot, but a couple things that I don't like. First off, I don't like having to set up my auger in this little vice section here. I don't like having that every single time I go out fishing. I want to be able to just grab it, zing it on here and go. And uh, a lot of people probably leave their, their drill on here. I don't like to, I like to bring my batteries and drill inside um, when I get done fishing. I don't know if you're supposed to or not, but I believe that that's the best way to keep good care of them. So first off, let's time how long it takes me to put the drill on here. I know it's not gonna be long, but we're gonna see how long it takes. I've got my drill. This is just your basic Milwaukee M18. Um, have had this for a couple years, complete unit. This thing is amazing. Um, I can't say exactly how many holes it drills, but it's quite a few. I haven't been able to go through both batteries in a day yet. I am using a six inch auger, which we will talk about later, but just for reference, six inch auger, Milwaukee M18. Uh, this is the fuel brushless, if you can see that there and uh, complete unit. So make sure to have it on one as well. I made that mistake the other day. I had it on two up here and it wouldn't drill a hole to save its life. So let's get ready and start the process here. Again, apologies for the wind. Um, it was a lot less windy when I decided to come out here today. So, okay, three, two, one, start. Okay, so I'm not sure exactly how long that it was. I should have timed it. I'm guessing a minute and a half, two minutes, something like that. Uh, so not a lot of time, but it's gonna be, you know, when you're when you're talking about maybe trying to be in a rush or you're losing daylight or something like that, it, it could mean the matter of getting on the fish in time and, and not getting on them, I don't know. But uh, to me, it's a big deal to have to set that whole thing up. And uh, so yeah, sometimes, I wish that I didn't uh, actually have this plate. A lot of the newer augers, which weren't really quite out yet when I was looking for augers, was like your light flights, your K drills, that they don't have this plate, you just go straight onto the auger. And with the auger just being able to go like that, there's like a handheld piece here that I can use to actually help hold on to the auger. Um, and I think that that would do just as well of a job as, as this. Um, the other thing with this auger, another con, is there is just a little bit of maintenance. There is a bearing in here. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a bearing up in there that, uh, you know, after using it for a couple years, two, three years, um, that's something you're gonna wanna grease. You're gonna wanna make sure that that's lubed up and not super wobbly. Some people I've seen on Facebook or on other videos, that bearing gets really, really bad and uh, you're almost worried that you're gonna lose your auger down the hole or something of that sort. So that's the one thing that you have to worry about as well with the cons. Pros for this plate, it is a little bit easier to hold on to when you are drilling a hole. Um, I'll show you guys some examples here. When I'm, I'm drilling, I have you know full control over my auger. Um, I could upgrade this blade to be an eight or a 10 inch or something like that. I haven't quite yet because I just haven't gotten to any of those bigger lakes to do some good ice fishing. Right now, the six is all that I really actually need. One con that I did forget about is this does take up a little bit of uh, room in your sled. I know a lot of guys walk out to go ice fishing, and for me, that was the biggest thing. I had to get two sleds, you can see them behind me here, just to basically carry the auger and the, and the tent and everything together because this does take up quite a bit extra room compared to just the, just the auger and the drill itself. I can tear that down and it's pretty small, but with this, I'm basically carrying around just about a full auger. It is a little bit smaller, but just about a full auger with uh, with this setup. The reason I wanted to make this video today was to basically just give you guys some info on what I have learned uh, about this clam plate. I think it's a really cool invention. I think it's really useful. I think it was a great stepping stone to get into what we have now with like the K drills and the light flights and all that stuff. I think that that was a great option 
But I think now that we have those other um, ways of drilling holes, I think that this plate isn't quite as useful anymore. Um, and there could be some things that I'm overlooking as well. Um, give me some comments, you guys, if you have this, this, this clam plate, the auger plate, or if you have like a K-drill, tell me, tell me what you guys think about it because I've, I've only used the K-drills a few times, but watching videos and watching how people interact with them, it seems like they are just a little bit easier and quicker when it comes to setting up, tearing down, drilling holes, bouncing around, stuff like that. Um, that is the other downside is this is kind of heavy. If I'm trying to bounce holes, it does weigh a little bit more than those K drills or those, uh, those other options that just have a straight shot all the way up to the uh, drill. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys want to see some more reviews, let me know down in the comments. Make sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I really appreciate it. Guys, we are over 700 subscribers and uh, we're growing by the day. I'm like